wisdom contained within the pages of the Bible? This is not just a book, but a rich tapestry woven with tales and teachings that have resonated with generations across the globe. It's a living testament, a beacon of wisdom that transcends time, culture, and circumstance. The Bible, in its essence, is a profound source of guidance. It's a compass that directs us through life's tumultuous seas, offering insights into our deepest dilemmas, our joys, and our sorrows. It's a mirror reflecting our humanity, our strengths and our frailties. Each verse, each parable, each prophetic word carries a depth of meaning that often goes beyond our initial understanding. It invites us to ponder, to question, to seek and to discover. It invites us to see the world and ourselves in a different light. So, are you ready to embark on this journey? Delve into a journey that will change your perspective about the Bible. Consider the words from Proverbs 16, 9. A man's heart plans his way, but the Lord directs his steps. This scripture, nestled in the heart of the Old Testament, may seem simple on the surface, yet it's a profound statement about the interplay between our personal ambitions and divine guidance. Let's journey back to the time of King Solomon, the author of Proverbs. Picture a society where survival hinged on the seasons, where the unexpected could mean the difference between life and death. In this setting, the people yearned for certainty, and control over their lives. But Solomon, a king renowned for his wisdom, offered a different perspective. He acknowledged that while we may have plans, it is ultimately the divine that influences our path. The beauty of this quote lies in its timeless relevance. Fast forward from the reign of Solomon to today, and we still grapple with the same desire for control. We meticulously plan our careers, our relationships, our futures, but often things don't go as expected. So, what does Solomon's wisdom tell us? It's a gentle reminder that we don't wield ultimate control. We might set our compass, chart our course, but it's the wind, the divine, that propels us forward. It tells us that our lives are not just a product of our plans, but also the unseen hand of divine guidance. This doesn't mean we should abandon our plans or stop striving for our goals. Instead, it invites us to embrace the unpredictability of life, to trust in a greater force at work. When we stumble or when our plans go awry, we are not lost. We are simply being redirected along a path we did not foresee, a path that is often better than we could have planned. This verse from Proverbs isn't just a collection of words, it's a lens to view the world, a way to understand our place within it. It's a reminder that there's a greater plan at work, beyond our own understanding. Now think about these words from Mark 11:25. and when you stand praying if you hold anything against anyone forgive them, so that your Father in heaven may forgive you your sins. These words, spoken by Jesus himself, are more than just a command. They are an invitation to a transformative journey. A journey that begins with forgiveness and ends with love. But what does this passage truly mean? It is nestled within a larger narrative, one where Jesus and the disciples are leaving Jerusalem, Jesus is hungry and looking for sustenance, but only finds a barren fig tree. In response, he curses the tree, and it withers. The disciples are puzzled by this, but Jesus uses it as a teaching moment. The barren fig tree is a metaphor. It represents the human heart that bears no fruit of love or forgiveness. Just as the fig tree was cursed for its barrenness, so too are our hearts if they are devoid of love and forgiveness. This is the context of Mark 11:25. But let's go a step further. These words are not just a warning against a lack of forgiveness, they are a promise of the power that forgiveness holds. When we forgive, we release not just the person we are forgiving, but ourselves as well. We free ourselves from the chains of resentment and bitterness that bind us. And there's more. The act of forgiveness doesn't just affect our earthly relationships, it has spiritual implications too. By forgiving others, we open ourselves to be forgiven by our Father in heaven. This is the divine reciprocity of forgiveness. Now let's transpose this teaching to our modern world. Imagine a world where forgiveness is the norm, where grudges, resentment and bitterness are replaced with love, understanding and reconciliation. 
This is not a pipe dream. It is the world that this teaching from Mark 11:25 25 envisions. So what can we take away from this? We are called to be like fruitful fig trees, bearing the fruits of love and forgiveness. We are invited to transform our hearts, our relationships, and ultimately, our world. It's a call to embrace love, forgiveness, and reconciliation, changing the way we interact with others. These quotes are but a glimpse into the wisdom of the Bible. As we've journeyed through the vast expanse of biblical wisdom, it's clear that the Bible is more than just an ancient text. It's a treasure chest, brimming with pearls of wisdom that have the power to transform our perspectives and elevate our understanding of life and beyond. We began by pondering on the Bible's depth, uncovering layers of profound meaning that extend far beyond the surface. We discovered that the Bible is not merely a historical or religious document. It is a rich tapestry of human experiences, woven together with threads of divine wisdom. Each verse, each quote, is a drop of knowledge in the ocean of spiritual enlightenment. As we unveiled a new perspective, we saw how the Bible can be a gateway to a deeper, more profound understanding of ourselves and the world around us. Its quotes are not just words. They are life lessons, moral compasses, and seeds of wisdom that can blossom into a garden of enlightenment within us. Then we delved into the power of love and forgiveness, two of the most potent forces in the universe as portrayed in the Bible. We learned that love is the cornerstone of all divine teachings and that forgiveness is the path to healing and liberation. These are not just ideals, but practical tools for personal transformation, capable of altering our perspective and shaping our actions. In essence, the Bible is a guide, a compass leading us towards a life of wisdom and compassion. It invites us to delve deeper, to question, to explore, and to grow. It's not about blind faith, but about conscious understanding. It's about seeing the world not just with our eyes, but also with our hearts and souls. Remember every quote, every verse is a beacon of light in the darkness, waiting to illuminate our path. All we need to do is open our hearts and minds and let the wisdom seep in. The Bible is more than a book. It is a compass, a guide, and a source of infinite wisdom. Change your perspective, and it will change your life.